All right, so for this curtsy uh, hip hike, what we're trying to do is actually allow our foot to stay pronated as we go through this dorsiflexion and hip uh, lateral shift and then drive out of that position. But the reason why this pronation is important is a lot of people like to try to always hold on the outside like this. But this actually doesn't allow us to access the glutes. It's actually putting the glutes in a short position and we want to eccentrically train them, especially with the good knee here so we don't have any tightness issues. So the first thing I'm going to do is stand on one foot. I'm going to allow my foot to actually flatten to the ground and that's fine. Okay, so let that flatten. Let the knee get aligned over the big toe. That's natural. The knee should go in over the big toe during dorsiflexion. In plantar flexion, sure, it'll go out. But in dorsiflexion, the knee should come in. So I'm going to allow that knee to come in a little bit. And then all I'm going to do, you can do it in a rack if you need a hand support, but if you don't, then you can just do your single leg. But I'm going to try to keep my hips in a straight line. I don't want them twisting too much. I'm going to try to keep them in a straight line. I'm going to let that pronate, and then all I'm going to do is try to reach across while my knee stays in that position. And then I'm going to squeeze out of it so the glute pulls me up. Then I'm going to go back down, the knee comes in while the hip goes out. Pull back up. Knee comes in, hip goes down on this side, back up to height. Okay? And we're just going to go back in and out of that curtsy with knee height.